A sleep study is a study which is done in a laboratory where you come in and you stay overnight. You arrive around 9 o'clock at night, you meet with a technician and they hook you up with a whole lot of electrodes on your scalp, your chin, your chest and your legs and they watch you while you sleep. And this will tell you whether or not you suffer from a sleep disorder such as obstructive sleep apnea, central sleep apnea, restless leg syndrome, nighttime seizures, or any of a number of other more um, uncommon types of sleep disorders that we sometimes look for. Also, there's a different kind of a study called a home sleep test. And this is a type of test which is designed to look only for sleep apnea. And that is the only thing that particular type of study looks for. One of the problems with the home sleep test is you don't have brainwave monitors. The reason you monitor the brain waves is because it tells you one very important fact, and that is whether a person's asleep or awake. When you're in the laboratory, you're monitoring their brain waves, and you can tell when they've fallen asleep, how long they stay asleep, and also what stage of sleep they're in. The reason we track eye movement is to tell whether you're into a special kind of sleep stage called stage REM sleep. REM is R-E-M, stands for rapid eye movement sleep. And the reason is because it's the deepest stage of sleep where you have the most vivid dreams. It's also the stage where basically the whole body is paralyzed. And the only muscles which work during REM sleep are basically the heart, the muscles with which you pull air in, in and out of your lungs, and the eyes. You want to know when a person gets into this rapid eye movement sleep because a lot of people will only have sleep apnea only when they go into that particular stage. And the reason is because that's when the muscles of the upper airway are most flaccid. The most important reason to have a sleep study is because if you have a sleep disorder, it affects your life. It leaves you feeling tired, run down, sleepy all the time, more prone to depression and mood swings, and you basically just don't enjoy life as much as you should. Obstructive sleep apnea, if left untreated, can lead to a much higher risk of strokes, heart attacks, high blood pressure, as well as abnormal rhythms of the heart. As a result, it can leave you debilitated later in life and your quality of life goes down.